So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I bring you a great rune farm post 1.06 patch. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so, you know these rune farms within the Mogwin Dynasty area, there's plenty here. But one, many, many people like to use and abuse to get easy runes. You could probably get every, I'd say, two and a half minutes doing this, you're probably going to get about 180,000. This is uh, on standard play that I haven't played. I ain't on any new game plus, so I'm getting this on the first playthrough. But you know those ones where you're on your mountain and you jump off the map swinging away? Well, this is one you can use and it works post 1.06 patch. Now, the best one that was in the game without a shadow of a doubt, they have nerfed. They nerfed it out of the game, guys, and I'll show you that before we actually move on. The invisible, well, the wall you jump through used to glitch through and fall. They've actually put an invisible barrier there or just fixed the wall because you can't get through it now, which is kind of annoying because this was the best one in the game. Now, like I said, you go across to the... Uh, the graveyard here, so I come past all this, uh, come straight over here, over here, and this is where you want to be. Now the place I've just ran from, if you don't know, is uh, this this spot here, the Palace Approach Ledge Road, and again I'm in the Mogwin Dynasty area within the Siofa River. To get down here guys, you need to complete the Whiteface File quest line, which starts very early on within the first step and they can now do this offline as well because they have changed a requirement to it where you can just uh, kill an NPC and you can progress the quest and eventually guys you get this item here if you don't know most people do you get this right here at the Pure Blood Knights Medal this when you use it from your inventory will teleport you to around that spot there and you're then free to basically explore this area and the best rooms in the the best room farms in the game are within this area there's no two trades about it but anyway this was the best spot in the game you used to be able to jump down here just like so and from here you double jump through this wall but as you can see they've blocked it completely up and you just fall to your death so yes don't try that anymore it's a waste of time they've nerfed that out of the game but guys there is one you can use which is just as easy to do I'd say requires a little jump um, and you get exact same amount of runes so you want to go to this grace point if you've got this place unlocked already which is uh, we'll go to now if you haven't got this grace point unlocked use your pure blood knights medal and you literally teleport to I think it's you end up facing you like that you stand you, end, you know we'll just do it we'll just do it why not so we just use this, and I'm pretty sure you end up exactly where I am. Ba boom! Oh, I like the loading now, it's so much quicker. Okay, so you end up at the bottom of the step. So, yep, if you run up here, you can now see that's exactly where we just were. So, just run up, activate this grace point because we need this grace point. And then from here, guys, come back down the steps, jump on your mount, and you want to come this way. Stick to the left easy as this and then you want to run up this tree trunk right there get to the uh, the edge come on come on stop being a pain in the ass game there you go and you want to double jump around to the right so just like so and you'll end up here then to the left jump up there jump up there and there you go you're up here now when you're up here guys what I do is I run over this way now you can do it there's a few spots here uh, where you can uh, jump off the map and keep swinging that weapon but I just like to go a little further right and the reason I do this is because I just feel um, because the way this actual glitch works the way this exploit works is when you jump off the map and you keep swinging your weapon it, when you swing your weapon it cancels out the death animation uh, that what happens is because you're not dying this whole map here well most of the map here despawns and the enemies fall down uh, causing them to die you get their wounds and like I said, the further across you are here, um, I think, I think the majority of the air, uh, enemies in the area fall to their death. So you can see the three, well, the pillows there. Go to any one of them. Just double jump towards it on your uh, your mount. And then just simply 
keep swinging that weapon. So one, two, and just swing your weapon. And it really is, guys, as simple as that. Now, I just did this and I got, it's either 170 or 180k runes. There's actually three ticks of runes I had. You'll see that in a second. The first tick is the major one where you get like 140k runes. Um, you get a second and a third and not longer after. And you'll see them in a second, guys. They could fall for longer and get more, I don't know. But either way, there's plenty of runes to be earned this way, guys. It's so, so quick and so, so easy. You may as well take advantage. Now, they will no doubt end up patching this or nerfing this out of the game too. So keep that in mind. But yes, as before, you'll see the runes will pop up on the screen. And once you've got the runes, you just want to fast travel back to that grace point. As you probably well know. And just run back to the same spot we just did. Rinse and repeat and get those runes people it really is that simple now you don't actually have to spam the light attack by the way you can press it like every four seconds but i just like to spam it just in case i do die there you go there's a one burst as you can see there that's 100 say 150 and you'll see in a second i'll get another burst shouldn't be long now like i said this is easy to do you ain't got a struggle doing this once you get the, that initial jump you're fine there you go there's a second burst and i'm pretty sure there's one more there we go so that is okay 170k runes now you can try and fall for a little bit longer if you want to see if you get any more if you don't you simply just press back and simply fast travel straight back to that grace point and it really is guys as simple as that now like i said um I am not on New Game Plus here. If you're on New Game Plus, you'll get double, triple, whatever. And it really is that simple, guys. So, yep, yeah, that, in my opinion, is by far the best uh, rune farm in the game in regards to jumping off the map and swinging that weapon. It really is. Again, come across here, jump up on here, jump up there, then just simply double jump right. Then jump up here, jump up there, and then, guys... Go to the, go, I mean you can use any, there's quite a few spots around here you can do this with. A lot of people will throw themselves off here. I, I've done that before and I've died though, it just hasn't counted. Or you can do it here. You can go a little bit further on like I said. Test these out guys, uh, see if they work for you, I'm pretty sure they will. And there we have it. People, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Arda Rings, be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people. I will see you on that next one